Good eating is not only about picking the right food and herbs. How you eat is a big part of good eating. So today I'm going to offer you some very, very simple practices that you can do to support your digestion, to nourish your body. And none of this has to do with the kind of foods you choose. So firstly, standing and eating is something you never want to do. Back in India, they say that the person who stands and eats, his death is closer, is sooner than he thinks. And of course, the statement is extreme, but basically what happens is when you stand and eat, right, your nervous system is confused. Does your nervous system, do your, do the, does your system need to support digestion? Does it need to support an activity? And your body has only that limited capacity. Your brain performs really well when it's given a simple task to do, when it can concentrate on one task. So if you're standing and eating, your digestion is compromised. So how do you sit and eat? The best position to sit and eat, according to Ayurvedic sciences, is sitting cross-legged, crisscross applesauce in Sukhasan. And what this does, I want you to understand what this does. What this really does is, firstly, of course, it keeps your posture erect, but more than that, right? So your digestive fire, right, that's the main concept, is really what digests your food. The compromise of your digestive fire basically leads to all kinds of digestive issues. When you sit down like this, you're actually creating a very strong foundation for your digestive fire. So it can really come alive really well. One of the ways I like to describe this, right, is like, let's say that you are, you have a candle. When you can give it that strong foundation or you have a bonfire, you give it that really, really strong foundation, your fire is going to burn sharper. Or if you cover that candle a little bit with your hand, your fire is going to burn stronger. That's exactly what happens. The production of enzymes in your gut really becomes much better when you can sit, give yourself this basic foundation and then eat. And now we're going to quickly go into how you eat. So the practice of saying grace actually exists in all cultures. And the reason why is, right? So one of the first things Ayurveda says is the way you eat is tan man bhunjite. Eat with your mind and your body. You're not just eating with your body. So how do I bring my mind to the food? Slowing down, of course, giving gratitude, preparing your body, telling it everything else can wait. Everything else that's going on in the world is going to wait. Right now, body, support my digestion. I'm grateful for the food and I'm going to allow my body to do its best because there's nothing else that my nervous system and my digestion needs to do because they really work hand in hand, the digestion and the nervous system. Then the second thing you want to do is really touch your food. Of course, eating with your fingertips, right? Finger foods or eating with your hands is also highly recommended because all of these have nerve endings. When your food, when your hands touch a certain food, the texture tells your body how hard is this going to be chew? What level of enzymes do you need? The temperature. These are all conveying messages to your body to get ready. And if you don't believe me, I mean, just smelling something can make you salivate. That's the connection, though that's how quickly your nervous system senses what you're about to do. The fact that it's salivating means it's ready to receive food. That's why you salivate when you smell food. Similarly, when you touch your fingers, you, you can use your sense of touch also to prepare your body for digestion. So I'm not going to take too long because this is a, an IGTV video and I don't want it to be super long. But you know, like really touching your food, smelling your food, preparing yourself for your food. And I always have my little cup of a uh, little bit of like hot tea, not black tea or green tea, but just like an herbal tea to support my food. And then literally, I mean, today I'm eating an Indian meal, but I'm just going to eat with, I'm going to show you one bite, right? Really slowing down how you eat, preparing your body, engaging, like dancing with your food, a slow dance. So really slowing down, chewing every bite, mixing your food with saliva really, really well. What your mouth can do if you have compromised digestive fire, use your mouth, use your saliva, which also has a lot of enzymes. So your digestive load is lighter. There's a lot you can do beyond just your gut. So I hope there's a lot more you can do, but I hope this video was helpful. I will keep coming back for more. Thank you.